do you guys get my Maven apron in the shot? It's it's it's. it's I just got it at a gift show and it was such a bargain. I was plotting. It's in the so, shot. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm ready. Okay. did your collection get started well this this is really only a small part of my collection i couldn't fit them all on the table i mean you can imagine it's crazy madness but much like with all of our judaica our candlestick collection it started innocently enough we got 10 sets the 10 sets here for our wedding uh six sets of ours are heirlooms and the other four sets i bought those at amazing savings i'm a sucker for a good deal on candlesticks let's move on Tell me about your menorahs. Well, to be honest with you, the menorahs, the menorahs pose an even bigger problem for us. So many menorahs, so little time. Eight nights a year to be exact. Some of my menorahs, I haven't seen them in decades. I'm told the item you hoard most are your benchers. The benchers, there's a very simple explanation for this. Whenever we attend a simcha, we usually take four benchers. Two to bench with, and two more for souvenirs. Sometimes even more than that. It depends how nice the bencher is and how big my purse is that day. Does that explain this set of ten of the benchers? Oh, that set? Well, eh, you know, it's a really expensive bencher. I just I couldn't help myself. We're very aware of your obsession with benchers. We even have a video of you from a recent simcha taking benchers. Oh, you do? Okay. Let's uh, play that clip now. And uh, this is the rest of my bencher collection right in front of you here. Do you mind if I look at one of them? Sure, go ahead. No, no, not that one. Why not that one? They're divorced. Why in the world would you keep that one? Eh, Shamos, such a hassle, you know? Now, we hear that you have a whole cabinet with items to cover your hair. Why is that? Can you keep a secret? Sure. Well, I complain to my husband all the time about how much I hate covering my hair. But that's just so he lets me buy a new hat every day. Truth is, I don't hate it. I just love buying hats. This is my collection. This is my collection of black hats. And the fedora? Oh, that must be my husband's. He must have left it at home today. And what about this uh, Texas Longhorns hat? Oh, that's not ours. I don't know how it got here. I consider all sports, and a college education for that matter, to be nourished kite. Time away from Torah, it's a one-way street to Gehenna. This is far too much Judaica for one 200-square-foot, one-bedroom Washington Heights apartment. I would suggest that we start by getting you a full psychiatric workup. Ha! You think I have a problem? Stop putting all the blame on me. You should meet my husband. He has an even more serious disorder. In fact, we recently took him to our rabbi slash therapist, and he was given an official clinical diagnosis. What was that? Well, every time my husband passes his farm store, he has this compulsion to go in and buy the first shiny brown leather-bound book he sees. We now have ten bookshelves filled with these books in our tiny apartment. What did the rabbi slash therapist call it? It's called Talmud Chacham. Let's get started. What can we throw out first? Chas v'shalom! Hashem has blessed us with so many gifts! Are you suggesting I throw out a gift from God? I never give up on people. But, Mrs. Rosenhaus, with you, I have to admit defeat. My only suggestion is, get a bigger place. That's not a bad idea. Maybe we should move. Maybe Dallas. Maybe California. Either way, we'll have more square footage. More square footage. More candlesticks. <laughs>